Uh, Frank, reflections on today, mate? I'm disappointed to lose my first game back. I um, thought we lacked a bit of aggression in our game. Um, and we come to a team that are fighting. You know, they were fighting hard today. Uh, they're near the bottom of the table. They want the points, as everybody does. And um, I wanted more from, from us. I said that at half-time to the lads. It's, it's, it's the baseline in the Premier League. And, um, and I think they upped it a bit in terms of urgency in the second half and these things. You have to, you have to match their urgency. Um, so there's a, something for me to see there in those terms. Players are good lads there. They want to win games, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you have to understand what are the baselines to win matches. And today we didn't quite make that. You mentioned before the game about, you know, you know the squad, you know a lot of the players, you've seen a lot, you know the quality of what's within the dressing room. Is today another opportunity for you to see that firsthand before obviously a massive game midweek? Yeah, I need to see the players, you know, and sense the, the group. Um, because, you know, I view it from the outside. Everyone knows how I would always be watching Chelsea. But when you get into the to Cobham and get into match day, then you see, you see the, the, the match day side of the play. And um, so we've had a couple of days. We've seen a lot, learnt a lot in a short time. But there's a lot to do. There's a lot of work to do. And there's also a huge Champions League quarter final coming up. You know, and this will not have a major relevance in terms of we'll, re we'll review. We want to be better and, and learn some things from today. It's a completely different game on Wednesday, and it will be another game on Brighton. So we want. I want to help this club move on in the league in this period. I want to help us try and beat the fantastic team in Madrid. We cannot be too low after this. We just have to take some of the things that we can improve on and improve on them quickly. As a player, you've been in countless massive games. As a manager, you've been in massive games as well. How, how does that change in terms of the preparation as a player and a manager? How, how do you prepare it's for It's just a beautiful thing because it just lifts you up even more. You know, I've, I've had those prep of travelling, playing in huge stadiums in Champions League, Cup finals, blah, 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 managing in them. And um, they take you to another place. So the players have to be ready for that and, and use it as a big positive and get excited by it and be really focused. And I certainly will be. Chelsea, obviously, a massive family. Fan base today give you a massive reception, as expected. How nice it to hear them singing your name again. Yeah, it was brilliant. I mean, listen, it's, you know, it's, my, it's my club. What happened in my career here and coaching, here before, managing here before, coming back again, you know, it's a special thing for me. And to hear them and see them was great. I'm disappointed I couldn't give them the, the, the result that they wanted to take home. I hope they understand that the work that's going to go in from my part, from the staff and the players. You know, the players, you know, some players have come in this year. Um, you know, and you have to give them a bit of time to settle, but they also have to understand what playing for Chelsea is and what it means and what wearing the badge means, and you have to react to that. So our fans are always brilliant, and um, I can guarantee that the period I'm here for, I want to work on the players and try and, you know, develop, you know, get to where we want to be by the end of the season.